It is Thursday and that means acting analysis for animators and today I'm going to take a look at episode 4 of Killing Eve season 1. Today I'm covering three clips and as always, why waste time? Let's go straight to them. First clip that I have here is him <laughs> taking off the mustache and the beard. And the reason I'm showing you this is for contrast, right? So when you have the first rip here, you can see eyes closed, mouth closed like this. Then she has basically the same reaction here. Then as he takes the mustache off, boom, you, <laughs> you have this, this crazy big reaction. Now, technically, as you watch this scene, that's it. You have the rip and the second rip, and then that's it. So the reason why I'm showing you this is because every time you do a move, you do a gesture, you do anything that is repetitive, you want to make sure that there's contrast. And this goes all the way back to bouncing balls. So if you have a bouncing ball bouncing up and down, you would start here, go up, but land somewhere else, and then go up and hit the higher point somewhere else and go back to another point. So it's not A to B to A, it's always A to B to C to D. It's always a different position. So whatever you have in terms of a repetition, but even if you have a post change, think about if I have an emotional switch which, or something happened to me like this is being ripped and then this is being ripped, try not to be repetitive. A makes it less CG and like the computer took over and just repeats things. It makes it more organic. It makes it more, I won't say real, but it doesn't have to be photo real. It depends on your style. It can be still caricatured and stylized and cartoony, but it's also more interesting to see different reactions and contrast in behavior and in movement and in timing. Speaking of reactions, this is another one where I love the look when he talks to her, how she does not acknowledge him. Look at that, it's a full turn. She looks, but not really. It just shows the contempt that she doesn't respect him. It's a great moment, he still continues, but nope. She has that little bit of a blinking because of this. So it's always cool to see how other people influence other people. That sounds really vague and broad. But to me, the big thing is always that when stuff happens outside of your character, be it sound, be it characters moving close by or a bigger thing that happens, just make sure that your character is aware of the surroundings and the environment, that there's a, what I like to call situational awareness. So in this case, this, she might be ready for him to grab a gun and shoot her. So she's slightly concerned about this. But anyway, and as we continue here and he gets his scope in order here, I love this. So he has this thing of, so did everybody go to the bathroom? He says something else, it's a different line, but A, I love his, okay, so ready? And he waits and he looks and I love that, all those little extra little moments there. So he looks and beep, that one little thing. It's almost like you have your, your pose and he hits a sub pose. I mean, it's a bigger pose change. It looks a bit more than a sub pose, but I love that moment of, okay, he asks, doesn't hear anything from her, How's that over there? All right. Okay. And I love this, that little moment of, okay, okay. And then goes over there and then of course asks her, she has that attitude and I love this too, that just that, yep, I'm okay. I can hold it. And then that reaction of just, again, I don't respect you. You're such a turd. I love that facial reaction, that big reaction, the eyes and eyebrows, then going back to, yeah, I'm fine. So condescending. It's just an awesome change in her facial expressions there. But again, going back, I love this, that he waits and she says, okay. And again, there's nothing in his audio that would prompt this. It's just the thing that the actor does. Okay. And again, something for you to think about when you do have lip sync, what can you add to a scene that is not part of lip sync where it's something like this. You would not hear that in the audio, but it's something that the actor does and something that you could try as well in your shots. And this one, going back to reactions, I guess this is all about reactions today. Again, it's things that happen in the world that influence the character. So now you have all the shooting and you have the bullet cases coming down. So if you look here, there's one here. And as they come down and hit her, she has that reaction. It's not just the character that's completely oblivious to the background. She does react to all of this. And actually, as you move forward, she keeps on shooting and shoots the guy here. And as this breaks, again, he has a reaction as well. All, I mean, I hope he would have a reaction with all of this here, but all of those pieces come by and you can see at the very beginning, he has the blink because of the sounds, the crashing, stuff that goes past him, and he winces and reacts to all of this. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because to me, all those elements are just moments that could create a, an interesting acting choice or just a moment in the character that feels original or something new or something that the audience wouldn't expect. And to me, it's fun that the character is aware of the environment. When something happens and there's a sound and they react to this, again, this could be something where if you have a lip sync and they're talking and there's sound and the character looks around because of the sound and the character is aware of that environment, maybe 
maybe that prompts the other character that talks to them to be more annoyed. And this might not be in the audio, but you can play that in the acting. So to me, all those elements, again, be sound, being other characters moving around, or something where there's weather, do you have wind or rain or snow or just temperature, where it's really cold or really hot. All of those things to me are just added layers that can make your performance potentially more interesting. And speaking of interesting, if you find that interesting and you want to apply that to your shots and you want to work with me and we can work on your shots together, I do have workshops as always, link in the description with all the details you can sign up at any time. And of course, if you watch this whole thing up to the very end, I appreciate that. And if you don't want to miss any of my uploads, you can hit subscribe and you can hit that bell button if you so desire. And that is it from me. I will see you in my next clip.